Hello, 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 everybody. Brian here uh, on Friday, uh, I think it's Wednesday, October 13th here, 23, uh, 16, 11, 16 p.m. my time. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about optimizing, how to know how to optimize your time frame. So here on the chat server, I just blabbed about, um, we got our live orders working, hooray, hooray, uh, on Kraken. Uh, that's using the charting, uh, charting setups of the Coinbase. But as I said, Coinbase uh, Pro is not working live orders with uh, MotorWave right now. But as it stands, um, right now with the latest round of signals on this uh, chart here, I'm just going to check the latest, is um, these are the latest. So we have here dot and compound number one. I would have said Adam looked like it was uh, coming up, but that's not the case. Here you can see on the Coinbase, we've got compound and polka dot as our charting setups half an hour later. Um, those seem to be still maintained. So let me show you um, what's happened here. Um, we have here this is what I call the watchdog. So basically, it's issuing long and sell orders on the um, on the Pinterest on the polka dot orders. So let's check out how do we determine what's the right time frame to use. So here on on MotoWave, we've applied our MACD strategy. Here uh, again, this is now thirty minutes. So in here, um, I can activate this strategy here. But let me just show you hourly. Okay, so you have here polka dot, which is a clear winner today, as you can tell. Um, we're just trying to capture some last probably minute momentum based trading here. Here is our last order on an hourly basis right there. Chances are you're gonna start to see that put in a sell order, but we don't have any open positions because I was just testing it on a one minute basis and I've just moved it over to 30 minute. So here looking at this, the question is, is one hour good enough? Tough to say. Because we want to obviously capture these big moves, which I missed out on playing around with this stuff. Um, then we move into the 30 time frame. Here you capture it perfectly. So that's a pretty good time frame, I think, 30 minute. I do know uh, some traders do use 45 minute. So uh, it's a lot more sensitive, a lot more accurate, and you can see those moves there. So again, secret sauce, 45 minute may work. Um, moving back to, okay, 15 minute. So here's our 15 minute kind of captures it, uh, 20 minute, uh, looking okay, but you, you can see it's dropped off here and it just didn't quite capture it at the best time. To be honest, I've been told by insiders, use 45 minute because it's very, very, very act accurate. So let's go ahead and start playing with that. So now I can just uh, deactivate this, close that out, and then close the chart. So 45 minute I do think is a good time frame to work off of uh, here. Okay, and if I move over uh, to our compound uh, to 45 minute, let's see what happens here. Remember I told you about all those gaps when you get into the 15 minute, you see all the gaps, five minute, just looks really bad. Um, you could probably me based upon the volume here. I wouldn't go with that. It might be a little dangerous. Here's a 15 minute, still gaps. 20 minute, still gaps. 45 minute, no gaps. So guess what? Boom. We'll go with that for our next strategy here. So we'll activate that. Boom, boom. So live trades are happening. Here's the result so far. Uh, you can see here we're just breaking even on the last two. So I'm not too happy about those. So knowing that, um, I'm not going to sweat it. Okay. Um, so 
as it stands right now, I think 45 minute is a very, very good time frame. Okay, um, I'll leave these open. I'm going to close up my my uh, atom. It didn't work out. That's what I thought. Anyways, let's start looking at some of the other coins that seem to be moving really well. Um, namely on the Kraken side. Now, once I know I can get Coinbase moving, I'll definitely uh, push uh, or put more money into the Coinbase and uh, see the potential there. Uh, what I'm looking for are the actual costs of the commission of Coinbase to see the impact of, of that on the trading. I'm probably going to do some test orders again for that. But right now you can see DOT compound are definitely breaking out here. As you can see 19, 18 and a half, which is quite strong. And we have four other ones here um, that are starting to move, break out. So I can do one of two things. You can see here I can temporarily, I could use the chart setups for here for calling base and apply them to Kraken, which I've done for the last few hours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of these other new charts to see if I should uh, open these up because these these may break out. Okay, so we have Litecoin. Uh, let's you can see Litecoin is just moving on up. I think that's not a brainer there. So even though even though you might not get a chart set up, you can individually look at this. So we've applied um, Litecoin. Let's look at. Uh, Ethereum. Okay, let's look at Ethereum's doing well. Okay, apply that, activate. Um, and then we also have Bitcoin's on the move. Zcash is on the move. Okay, I've got Bitcash here. That's kind of tapering off. So I'm going to keep that open. Uh, we have here Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let me just apply those. So that's starting to cool off a little bit, but let me just pull, pull, post that and apply it right now and just activate that particular strategy. So you can see here, we probably missed out on these opportunities here. Now I can leave these running all day, all night and um, very steep moves here on the price. And we'll also just apply Zcash as well. So let's see Zcash. So Zcash looking good there as well. Let's see if we might be able to capture some trade potential trades here. Um, again, we missed out here, but I'll activate it. So as you can see right now, our top movers on Kraken are exactly what I put out. So up until here, we have DOT, Compound, Litecoin, Ethereum, Zcash, Bitcoin, oh, and EOS. Let's do EOS as well. Now that's quite a few uh, positions there, potential. But the idea here is that's looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna let this run, okay, because it is close to Betty Buys. I might take a chance and let it run through the night, okay? If it does move up, because, so we've got Compound, Polkadot, big move there, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, four, Bitcoin, five, six, seven, right now on in in play so one two three four yeah seven so again i'll repeat that on the pot for the podcast compound dot ltc ethereum bitcoin zcash and eos okay so those are the ones i can trade because they're big ones and we wait it out again so let me just confirm that these are good for for uh, coinbase so coinbase is showing Adam, Litecoin, SNX, Maker. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use anything over seven. Okay, so if I look at Maker as well and SNX. 
So I might add two more. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, um, let me just apply. I do like this time frame, 45 minute. Pretty good. Um, so we just missed that, that buy signal there. Lastly, we have uh, SNX. I'm sure there could be some laggards here. That one's moving up as well. So key here I like about this, uh, these particular coins, is that there's no sign of gaps at the 45 minute time frame. Okay, now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine positions. That might be a little too many to in fact because I have to work on the quantity. So let me just check on the price. Polkadot, yes. Litecoin, it might be, well, that's moving pretty good though. Ethereum's moving. Bitcoin's not so steep. Zcash could be underway. EOS, well, we don't kill that. Gotta deactivate that. And then lastly, we have SNX. Sure. Now again, you can use hockeys for these. I just haven't set them up yet. So you can see I missed out on that. Okay, so let me repeat what we've got again. Um, compound, DOT, DOT, LTC, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Zcash, EOS. And I was hoping to get rid of this second one. Okay goodbye and lastly it's SNX okay so we got let me repeat compound polka dot Litecoin Ethereum Bitcoin Zcash EOS and SNX let's see if we've updated our chart so here comes some more it looks like so I'll probably clean up here so what's happening is what you can do here with the risk on it's 1.44. Look at the prior one. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Where's our risk on? Our last risk on. So you can see it's 2.54. So I'm already, well, here it's at 0 0.06. So this is how fast it can move from the, in the span of 10 minutes. 22.36, it was at 0 0.05, and then just suddenly shot up to. 2.54 but it is weakening so I'm gonna probably hang around here and watch what happens here uh, the one that we gotta watch here is this one in the watch dock to see how it handles and also as I said if you're watching uh, what you can do is uh, again this is this is my paid one for my quant analytics um, right now, let me show you the samples. So right here's the, the free samples of the signals. So these are currently been running for the last few hours. So, but they only work with Cardano, Polkadot, and Ethereum. Okay, so uh, here's, here's what's going to happen. Now, you know where the server is, the chat server. Uh, go over to quantlabs.info. Okay, quantlabs.info. Pretty simple. Next up we have is our daily newsletter. Okay, daily newsletter is um, how to keep on top of all that. But look what we're doing now. This is really important. We're starting to build out our outline for the cryptocurrency introduction course. So once I complete that, I'll introduce that. Probably do a PowerPoint and put in a launch date uh, and um, cover these. There's going to be about very about five topics. Um, it'll also include the technical analysis free course that I got at the store for those watching at the end here. What we can do is just go to quantlabs.net slash shop. Okay, and then in there you will find a um, product 
a technical analysis product right here, which would cover all that and just apply the current uh, coupon code, just as a hint, hint, hint. So that will be included, and that's how I'm able to generate these rankings that you see, the 7, 16, all that, because uh, that's from the technical analysis. So um, I might cover that just as a high level. Um, also, what I'll do is I will introduce MotiveWave as well um, and leave it at that. So these are some of the bits and pieces I'm uh, using from other courses and just putting it out as, an, as part of my outline, but generate my own content from it. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.